Welcome back. Today, Idaho State Police hosted its first graduation from the Kootenai County pilot program called Idaho Law Enforcement Diversion. The program aims to help people who are struggling with drug addiction. Marissa Rio met with a participant today and shares more about how the program can help those who are struggling. It was an emotional day celebrating the first person to graduate this program. I spoke with the graduate earlier today and he asked that he remain anonymous. So for that reason, we will not be using his name. He said when he began this program in December of 2022, he had been an addict for nearly three decades. After a year of hard work, today he is sober. <laughs> Today was the true testament that this program can make a difference in someone's life. Studies show that if someone who struggles with substance use disorder is able to access treatment within that first 48 hours, uh, they're more likely to achieve long-term sobriety. And that's hopefully how they help today's graduate. When he was pulled over back in December of 2022, he had meth on him. An officer will pull someone over, they'll refer the participant, and then we connect them to treatment immediately. Uh, they stay in treatment for 12 months, and upon completion, the charges are dropped. That's the process today's graduate went through, but it wasn't always easy. He said he was suicidal at the beginning of treatment, but with the help of his case manager and people at Kootenai Health's outpatient program, he was able to recover. About five to six months in, it's kind of like he flipped a switch. He like let me know, hey, this is this is actually something I really want to do, and I'm really appreciative of this opportunity, and I feel like it's working. One of Kootenai County's prosecuting attorneys said by skipping the judicial process and going straight to treatment, the county is also saving money. There are two others currently in the program and four that have either been dismissed or didn't qualify. To qualify, a person has to be 18 or older and cannot be a sex offender or have any charges within the last 10 years. Today's graduate wanted others who are struggling to know that it does get better. Reporting in Kootenai County, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now.